Hello everyone, Daniel here. In this video, we're gonna cover how to set up your break music library um, and how to use that throughout the show. Uh, so these are the tracks that play in between the karaoke tracks um, and you can also use them for before the show and after the show during either pack up or pack down uh, as well. So to get started and to import your break music in, just go to the break music menu at the top and click on manage break DB. Now we need to specify where our break music is located. To do that, click on add and then navigate to the folder that contains your break music. In my case, it's located in this BG music folder. So that's selected and then I click on the select folder button. Now in order to scan those files, I now click on update all. You can see here that the database update has been complete. I click close and now I have those break music tracks available in my database. If you wanted to look through your database and look for a particular song, you can use the search function down here. And then you can refine the search and only find the tracks that you need. In order to use break music tracks, you need to move them from the database over to a playlist. In order to do that, simply click and highlight the tracks you want to move across and then you can drag them across. In my case, I'm going to click Control A and just drag them all across and now they're in their own playlist. If you wanted to randomize that playlist, there is a randomize button down the bottom. Each time you click it, it will randomize the order of the playlist. If you wanted to be more specific with your playlist ordering, simply highlight the track or the tracks that you wish to move and then use the up and down arrows to move them to wherever you'd like them to go. To start playing the break music, simply double click on a track that you wish to play. Then the break music will start playing. If you want to adjust the volume of the break music, use the volume slider located here. The recommendation for break music is that you have it around 50% so that it doesn't come in too loud after a karaoke track is finished. If you want to stop the break music, just click on the stop button. The break music will then fade out. When you're playing a break music track, it will show you the now playing track title here and then the next track up that's in the playlist here. To delete items from a playlist, simply use the trash can icon or you can also right click and click on delete. If you wanted to clear the entire playlist, highlight them all, pressing Ctrl A or on a Mac, Command A, right click and choose delete. To create a new playlist in the break music section, go to break music at the top, hover over playlist and select new. Give your playlist a name and click OK and then select the tracks you wish to bring into that playlist. Once you've done that, your playlist has now been saved. You can switch from playlist to playlist using the drop down. To remove a playlist you've created, simply go to break music, playlist, Make sure the playlist is selected and then click on delete current and click on yes. You'll now see the playlist has been removed. If you wanted to export the current playlist to a playlist file, go to break music, hover over playlist and choose export current. It will then ask you where you'd like to save it. Find the location that you wish to save your playlist file and then save it into that folder. To import a playlist that you've created outside of OpenKJ, we support the standard M3U playlist file type. To import it in, go to the Break Music menu, hover over Playlist, select Import, navigate to the folder that contains your playlist file, and then choose the playlist file you wish to import. Give the playlist a name, and then click OK. So now I'll demonstrate how the break music fade in and fade out works. So I'll kick off a break music track just like you would at a show. So this will be playing in the background and then we'll switch over to karaoke view and we'll kick off a karaoke song. So the break music track will fade down and then the karaoke track will fade in just as per normal. Once the karaoke track finishes playing, 
uh, the brake music will fade back in. For the purposes of this video, I'll just click stop. The brake music will fade back in and I'll just stop that again. Lastly, if you wanted to clear your brake music database, it's very simple. Go to the brake music item at the top, go to manage brake DB and then click on clear DB. Click yes and now your brake music database has been cleared. That brings us to the end of our brake music tutorial video. I hope you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next one.